I'm Ryan. And I'm Allie. After falling in love, we decided to ride bikes across America. Collecting love advice along the way. This is Love Cycles. No No flatties, no no whammies, no no crashies. Hi, oh yeah, there you go. Ah, good morning. <laughs> good morning, babe. I'm a little nervous. Go by. No, what's gonna happen? We're gonna what's ride our happen? bikes. We're gonna ride our bikes 100 miles and finish triumphantly in New York. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> I've been humming the theme from Jurassic Park this morning. It's very triumphant. And I'm wearing my helmet because I slept in it. I'm really excited to ride today. (laughs) Final time putting on the bags. My rear tire is looking a little bit bald, which makes sense. It's been 3,500-ish miles, but it's going to last all the way. And I don't want to jinx myself, but we have not had any flats. This entire ride. And you want to know why? It's because we sing the song every day. No flatties, no flatties, no flatties. All right, love bug, 100 more miles. We are not riding alone today. Jason is coming with us, and I think just about three quarters of Allie's family (laughs) is going to meet us at a rail trail in about five miles. (laughs) Woo! Oh, man! It's a beautiful day! Sorry if I'm waking up all your neighbors. We're just a little bit excited. And everybody keeps on asking, how are you gonna ride into New York City? I don't know, I'm just gonna ask Google Maps and it's gonna tell me. (laughs) It seems a little overwhelming, but we're gonna figure it out. What's up, Nate? How you doing, bud? I know. <laughs> Nate's going without shoes today. He's hardcore. He's like Huck Finn. I have not worn this helmet, look, since I was little. <laughs> good morning, Jan. Good morning. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. How are you feeling? Feeling great. How many of your family members are here? What are we looking at here? Oh, I can never count them all. <laughs> this family does not hold still long enough to be counted. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to be seen. <laughs> High five, Leah. So Boom. Are you excited to be up at 7 a.m. on a Sunday morning? Yeah, of course. <laughs> How about you? Yeah. One, two, three. No whammies, no crashies, no flatties. This kind of reminds me of that scene in Forrest Gump when he's running across the country and people just start joining him and there's a huge crew. I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. Feels so great. We're surrounded by love. Which uh, makes sense because love cycles. Get it? Do be very careful. A lot of the alley crew is turning around now. It's like the shuttle. We had the booster rockets boosting us this far. Now they're peeling away, letting us go into our orbit. Shiloh, Jason, and Wyatt are going to continue the ride with us for a little while longer. I kind of like that we have one last hard day to finish this thing off. 100 miles, a little bit of hills, 
feels good. Feels really good because after today, we're not gonna ride our bikes nearly as much. I'm excited to go running, in fact. It's been three months since I've gone running. Really enjoying these country roads out here. It's hard to believe that we're gonna be in the concrete jungle of New York City later this afternoon. We have ridden 45 miles. We are now on the Putnam Trail. No cars. Woo, how we feeling everybody? New York is really impressing me with its amount of rail trails. We're up on mile like 550-ish now in New York and mostly trail. So thank you, New York. You're awesome. We are now on the North County Rail Trail and this is gonna take us all the way to Van Cortland Park, which is just north of Manhattan. Thanks for riding with us, buddy. Uh, yeah, it was You're fun. the man. Shiloh and her son Daniel rode with us for 65 miles. That means you have 65 miles to get home. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Everybody in your family is a super athlete. Uh, that's true. Uh, we, try. we try. Yeah, that's awesome. Happy trails. You too. That just leaves you and me, Allie. Can you believe it? Just the two of us again. Mm, we have 34 miles to New York City. Oh, what 34 a feeling. Four beautiful, awesome miles. Let's enjoy it. We are hidden in the jungle here, and about 100 feet that way is a raging highway. <laughs> I am so glad that these rail trails exist. We are in the Bronx. Would you believe it? It certainly doesn't look like the Bronx on TV. It's like we're deep in the woods. We could be in Idaho right now. We certainly aren't on a rail trail anymore. <laughs> Welcome to New York City. We are now going to ride along the West Side Highway along the Hudson River. Bike path all the way down to the bottom of Manhattan. Look at that bridge, it's huge. We have 3,000 miles ahead of us. 3,000 miles of adventures and beauty and open landscapes and starry skies and wonderful strangers that will become friends and it's gonna be amazing. And I'm very, very happy to be doing this with you. I'm so grateful for you for inviting me along. Yeah. Thank this you. This is a dream come true. This is one of those trips in life which is an absolute dream come true to be able to do something like this with somebody you love. Although this is not officially the ocean, it's the Hudson River, but eventually it connects in a roundabout way to the ocean. We started in Astoria, the Pacific Ocean, and this will go to the Atlantic. It is beautiful. We uh, are so close to the end of our journey. I know. We're going to ride down this West Side Highway and go across the Brooklyn Bridge and be done in Brooklyn. Eso, chocala! This. Okay. La, la, la. Like and since we're ride. riding our bikes across the country talking about love, we might as well be doing spinny lovey things. This is what they do in the movies. Watch this. Yeah. And these are the moments when I've done these bike tours and I've been alone. 
these are the moments where I'm like, God, I wish I could share this with somebody. I'm so excited to camp and cuddle tonight. It is time to go across the Brooklyn Bridge <laughs> and fight through a sea of tourists. This is more treacherous than riding some of the highways we took across America. So Ali, our goal was to find the hidden roads of America. What do you think? Oh, I think that so far we've succeeded. <laughs> we are out here. Yeah, I am loving all the gravel and just long stretches of empty highway. It's really special out here. We have landed safely in Brooklyn Heights. We are going to meet my good friend Brett, childhood friend, and his wife Magina, and his little daughter Elodie, and we're gonna eat ice cream. Because that's what we do when we ride 100 miles. We eat ice cream first, before anything else. What's up? Hi! What's up, everybody? Hello. Oh, I'm sorry to scare you. I'm sorry to scare you. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Let's get some ice cream. Ice cream will solve all problems in the world. Oh, look at that. Oh. Yum. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Oh. Want some? <laughs> Can you believe it? Look at that city behind us. That's the city we've been aiming at for three months. <laughs> oh man, it feels so good. And we did it together. Do you remember that day leaving Astoria, Oregon? I do, I do. Remember the waves washing over our feet and filling my shoes? Mm hmm. I remember having tears in my eyes. I was so excited. <laughs> and then, gosh, all the nights getting lost in Washington and Idaho, the motorcycle guys. Hot springs. Hot springs. It feels like we've lived so many different adventures, like a year of adventures. I know. In the past two months. Every single day seemed like two, two days. We got two days for the price of one every <laughs> single day. <laughs> it was amazing. Every single day we made it happen. Every single day we woke up not knowing where we were going to go or where we were going to eat or sleep. And every single day we made it happen and we did it together. And then we'd fall asleep next to a state fair. Or <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I'll never forget or that. Or in some random town park we were poaching. <laughs> we did that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And all, the, I mean, I, I'll never forget all the, all the people. Even the people we didn't really document or capture, but just the, sh the short moments we had with the guy outside of a gas station that was so psyched about our cross-country ride and mm -hmm. tells us that we inspired him. And, you know, our time with Dana and Xantha and Bobalicious and Michelle and, gosh, your whole family and Ben Leroy. <laughs> Love that guy. <laughs> And here we are, so look! So many incredible humans. I keep spinning us around because the audio is better the other way. This is into the wind. But there's the city. This is better for audio. This is better for audio. This is us. It is, it's kind of surreal. I mean, for so long, New York seemed impossibly far away. Yeah. And as we rode, we as we got here today, it was like, are we really going to be in New York? Because we were like in the jungle for most of the day on these rail trails. And it's like... New York can't be around the corner, and all of a sudden, there it is. There's New York. Now we're at the tip of it. It seems like the perfect place to start a stop. <laughs> it is a good place. Perfect to end for a journey. Yeah, and by the way, this is your second century ride. 100 miles. Congratulations. That's true. Still doesn't come easy for me. Yeah, no, we saved, uh, we saved a big day for the last day. Yeah. Wow. I mean, we're going to be processing this for months and months, and maybe even years. Like, it was all so much so fast that we really didn't get to, I mean, we took it in as much as we could, but I think as we go home and we chill out and we wake up at three in the morning, we're like, oh, remember that one time? It's all going to, I'm so excited. We get to relive this for forever. Yeah. It's a really beautiful thing to kind of share with you. I know. It is. Mmm, I feel so lucky. I feel really lucky to have found you. I feel so lucky I found you. <laughs> I'm really grateful that we got to share the past two months together, two and a half months. Two and a half months. We left June 11th. It is now August 12th. 
20 something? Five? Yeah. 25. Ah, <sighs> man. My arm is hurting. I'm holding this camera up. <laughs> I, think our, camera. I think our final speech is gonna come to an end before my, my arm breaks off. <laughs> oh, I guess I could, we could say thank you to everybody out there. Thank right? you. Thank you for supporting us and sending us all of your encouraging comments and just all the love that you poured at us. It really helped us. We really appreciate it. So thank you all you for following really, along. You're a really important part of the adventure. Absolutely. Every even though even though we don't know a lot of you in person, uh, you're very important. And we did meet some of you. That was awesome. We did meet a few of you YouTuber that would YouTubers that met us out in the middle of nowhere. And we appreciate that. So man, here's to many more adventures with with us and and sharing with you and and love and joy and I think my final word is that I just have a renewed faith in humanity after doing this ride, all the beautiful people we met. There is so much good in this world and I can't wait to keep on exploring and, and making new friends on this planet and just spreading the joy, spreading the love. And I would say that my patriotism has been renewed. My, my belief in this country and the ability of Americans to cross divides and find that place where they can connect regardless of differences yep. and love each other. Yep. All right, I'll give you one last shot of the city before my arm breaks off. Oh, there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, New York City. Love Cycles has made it. Oh.